What is up, my people? Welcome back to the channel for another arm review. I'm your boy Nassim the Dream. If you're new to the channel, just go right on ahead, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell as well to always keep notified of my newest content. Today, I will be reviewing the new Jesse Ware album that feels good. English singer songwriter Jesse Ware is back with her fifth latest project following her very successful previous album What's Your Pleasure. A fun exotic disco inspired unit that is elevated so much of what disco music has prospered to be in its prime era. Making it seem like this record would do so well in the prime of disco music putting it right up to next to legendary contemporaries such as Diana Ross, Donna Summer, Madonna, the Bee Gees. Because I know that might seem like such a crazy thing to say but with this model Modern era, I really feel like most would agree that Jesse Ware's talent, especially on the album What's Your Pleasure, has really just gave great insight on some fresh and smooth disco pop aesthetics that's infected the souls of so many that I know personally that were never into disco. Vocally, aesthetically, stylistically, Jesse just gave her a game onto the field, especially when coming out with the deluxe version with some great hits on there, such as Please, Overtime, and my personal favorite, Hot and Heavy. And it's also really shocking to know that Jesse was literally about to hang up the time towel when putting up this record thinking that this would probably be her last work but thankfully the feedback was so overwhelming that she had to consider otherwise especially when being brought upon on Harry Styles tour and I'm still really butthurt that I missed out on that show Let's not talk about it. But the bar she's raised in modern disco has given an audience a basis of what Jessie possesses in her talents, which I think can be pretty intimidating and just can really excel really high expectations, but no doubt she can handle this task with confidence. This album is proof of that. She is kicking this whole thing off with the lustful tighter tracker that is one hell of a funkapalooza. Bass licks that make you want to throw on your roller skates and soulful shades just to boogie oogie onto that roller ring. The guitars in this one are also very notable. They really sound like they really cut into a portal into space that lead into this funky soulful dimension. And Jesse is just keeping the party rolling onto the second track, Free Yourself, which is actually the first single that we were introduced for prior to the record's release. I feel like this song gave me and other fans reassurance that she would yet again come out with a banger record. So far, we're already two for two for breathtaking hooks and instrumentation. And you definitely have to hand it off to high credentials of the producers that help these songs come to life with James Ford and Stuart Price helping this album come together. Gentlemen, hats off to you. I felt like you did an amazing job. And then next we have Pearl showing off the incredible vocal range from the Goliath Jesse Ware that sprinkles glitter and glamour into the works. Jesse just feels like she's starting to really feel like comfortable in her own skin, very free in herself by noting how her dancing is causing the pearls to fall off of her neck, which is pretty much the energy that you go into with this song. With three songs in already, the question lies, does this thing stumble or fall off at some point? What do you think, my guy? Hell no! Of course not, you bozo! Hello Love simmers the pace and only becomes more alluring and authentic to the listener. Jesse just singing into these harmonies with rich quality horn sections that complement her so much. Begin Again makes you want to jump out of your seat and beg on your knees for more. And I think what gives Jesse more profound success into her passion and drive is just how well she flows around with what she's given. The writing is so genuine with the vocal airing, it's sterling. So many of these songs just go around with different vibes, but they're all also a beat. It's so dancey, it's sexy, it's lush, it's plus, it's so much funk, you can't get enough. That was hard. That was hard. You know them bars were hard. You know them bars were hard. Come on, go give you that bar. Dirt, dirt, dirt. The bar and then when we get close to the finish, I really do feel like this closes off very well. It has like this lo-fi inclusion onto the song Lighting that adds off the perfect blur to the atmosphere that's so smooth and even. I really feel like these came off a very cool style, even with the effects on here that add the two adding invigorating faders and delays that dim the lights and simmer into the spice, dash some sweetness into the mix that just makes it so delicious. Sweetest taste to me being the closer these lips with these encompassing creamy textures while dominating with seductive vocal airing. I really don't have much to gripe about about this record. Things just really just come up with just straight bangers. This is really to my liking. This album is just nearly non-stop bangers that make you want to skate the rink, like I said, all the way to close. And it just really makes you want to instantly replay this song. Even when getting to the finish, notably with some finishes, I kind of just get tired out and just fatigued. And most of the time, just kind of just 
brush the record off or maybe just go back to again and just restart it from the beginning but i usually always want to go from this from start to finish and just restart it all and while i am highly praising this project and i really do feel like i'm well addicted to a lot of these songs if we're gonna get to the verdicts this is definitely a high scoring record for sure however there are two songs in particular that are on my mind that i feel like i am less amused about the more i hear them just because there are hooks on them that are very tongue-in-cheek that are like not so bad but they get more tongue-in-cheek the more you hear them the songs that speak about are beautiful people and shake the bottle i feel like these two songs kind of represent something that i would kind of hear off of like a youtube ad but i will note that if these songs made it on a youtube ad that would be a pretty fire song to put on your ad I'm just, just saying and notably the song notions about just a lot of ways of love and just stories about lovers on these songs can somewhat feel repetitive at times i really felt like there could have been a little more impact with better storytelling and finally though i like what was put together i think just a little bit more push with exploration into these sound selections and these influences it could have went a long way and i think it would have been on par with what's your pleasure because what's your pleasure is a little bit more mellow and this is definitely way more upbeat way more punch but i think if it would have pushed it just a little bit farther in exploration it it would have matched that but to me these are really just very minor setbacks that i just feel like can be easily excused because of how much there really is to offer on here like i said there is great sonic punch onto this album each time when i play this record just because of how much i really do like the whole record i really really wanted to give this a perfect 100 because of how much fun i had with this album but because of the conflict I feel like it isn't quite there. But nonetheless, this is a fire ass album from Jessie. I am loving it. She is amazing on here. Her singing is just so alluring, just so beautiful, so immense. And you cannot help but to love so much of the jazz, so much of the disco, so much of the pop. It all just hits so, so well. I'm gonna give Jessie Wears That Feels Good a 95%. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go to like, share, and comment down below of what you thought of this record. Do not forget to check down in the description for all my separate track list ratings for the album, more videos, and also links to my social media accounts so you can keep with me on the daily. And I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces.